Hello everybody, it's Father John LeCarrie here uh, this Sunday, the third uh, weekend of um, Advent, we celebrate Gaudete Sunday. Uh, Gaudete is the Latin word for rejoice, and the word rejoice is in the opening sentence of our second reading. Um, rejoice in the Lord always. And um, the third week of Advent, um, we celebrate the, the, this virtue of rejoicing because we have our eyes set on that which we are celebrating. Advent, as you know, uh, the color, liturgical colors for Advent, three out of the four weeks are a more somber color, purple. This, as we can see, is rose. And so it's, it's to reflect what should be in our hearts. Now, oftentimes, uh, throughout the year, our hearts may not feel like rejoicing. We may be focusing on the challenges and the problems of our life, uh, the challenges and the problems that we face in the world around us, and um, we may forget the light of the world, Jesus Christ, who leads us to, to um, engage with these things, both joyful and challenging. And in doing that with the Lord, we always can have hope. And so uh, that's what we are focusing on uh, this weekend. Um, upcoming uh, Tuesday, um, the 15th, we will be having our parish Advent penance service uh, from 6.30 onward. Uh, it's an opportunity for those of you who wish to use the Sacrament of Reconciliation to come during this time of the liturgical year. Of course, we do have it from 3 to 4 every Saturday and by appointment. I um, would ask those of you who have uh, children or grandchildren uh, to ask, especially your children that have children, when was the last time that you brought your child to the Sacrament of Reconciliation? See what they say and encourage them to do so if they haven't done so recently. Um, it is not unusual for a priest to go to a school and hear uh, the confessions of children. We have it twice a year, once during Advent and once during Lent, where a child will come and say, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been a year since my last confession. And when I hear that, I don't change the expression on my face, of course, but my heart is saddened because I see this child has been deprived of the experience of knowing what it's like to have the sadness of the consequence of their little sins or big sins relieved by the absolution and forgiveness of Jesus Christ. So uh, there are many parents who do not practice this sacrament and therefore their children do not see them practicing the sacrament and therefore the parents do not take their children to this sacrament. It's a life changer, a game changer, a wonderful thing. And certainly those who do go to this sacrament of reconciliation, when they go into the confessional with hearts heavy with the burden of their sins, they leave rejoicing because they experience the love, mercy, and forgiveness of Jesus Christ in this sacrament. Please think about this and ask your children and your grandchildren, when was the last time you've been to confession? And maybe even ourselves, we ask that question. Jesus is always here waiting for us, wanting to love us and restore us to wholeness. Peace be with you. One more thing to remind you of, uh, uh, this upcoming week, uh, December 17th, which is Thursday, uh, Father uh, Dennis and I will be offering Advent reflections, um, things to ponder and think about. I will be uh, beginning my reflection from 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, in English. Father Dennis will follow me from 7 to 8 p.m. and offer his reflections in Spanish. So please uh, come and join us as we reflect on the gift of the birth of our Lord.